something I'm saying is very, very frightening. And I want to express this to you. Many years ago, when uh, in Germany, the uh, Nazis began to attack the Jewish people, they had a night in 1939 where they burnt uh, Jewish business. Well, they actually broke a lot of glass in Jewish businesses. And nobody really seemed concerned about it. People in Germany were blaming the Jews for the problems during the Weimar Republic. Uh, during the Weimar Republic, hyperinflation came, and a loaf of bread cost a wheelbarrow full of German marks. And the money, <clears throat> the money exchange, when you, when you got paid, people would literally want to get paid every day at work because the, the, the devaluation of the money was so bad. Uh, it started out with like you could get four German marks per dollar, and then it went into trillions, of, of billions of German marks, and just the money was useless. And they were actually burning the currency, and they blamed it on Jewish bankers. This is how all this started. So when Hitler came to power, and he began to um, re change things, he began to take the old currency and remove it and print a brand new currency. Uh, um, and I'm getting, I don't want to get into the bog, bogging down history of this, but uh, just so you have an understanding, it was very easy to blame the Jewish people. And so that produced 6 million deaths, 1.5 million children, the rest were adults, of just Jewish people in what is called the Holocaust. Now, what I'm seeing in America is, is probably the most frightening thing I've ever seen in my life, and that is this. Here you have Hamas, which has cut off babies' head, raped women, cut off their body parts, burnt their houses, burnt them alive while they were in their uh, safe rooms. Uh, you know, over a thousand Jewish people, totally innocent, uh, working on kibbutzes, working on farms, were brutally attacked. And in the United States, at these, I pardon, pardon me, stupid universities, and they can brag on their academic levels all they want to, but they are just a bunch of morons. The professors are just, this is what, God, this is what the Bible would say, professing themselves to be wise, they are fools. And the Greek word there is morons. Professing themselves to be wise, they are fools. And Romans chapter 1 also talks about th those type of people as well. So they're so high in academia, but yet look at what they're doing. They're protesting uh, Israel for trying to go in and destroy a terrorist organization. And I know, uh, you know, when, even when you talk about that, everybody starts getting their opinions and everybody says, but what about this? What about that? What about this? Nothing would be happening right now in that area, period if that assault had not happened to the innocent people in 22 cities. And here's what scares me. During the time when they rose up against the Jews in Germany, it spread into Austria, it spread all over Europe, and they, the Jews ended up in concentration camps. Very few people said anything. They said when the trains would come through with the people screaming on it, that you could hear the screams, and in the German churches, they would simply play the organ louder and sing louder to drown out the voice of the Jews. That is in history. That's in historical documents that Christian people wrote after the war. And if we're not careful, I'm telling you what's going to happen. If we're not careful, there's going to be such a rise of people, and I'm talking about millions of people against the Jewish state, that we're going to, we're going to uh, see almost another Holocaust taking place and nobody say anything about it, and people actually supporting it. Do you say, well, that wouldn't happen in modern time? History repeats itself. And I see it happening right now, and it just absolutely blows my mind. And I mentioned last night at Genesis Church, I didn't preach on this, but I mentioned this, that everybody makes this political. It's about land. It's about land. It's never been about land. It is a spiritual battle of apocalyptic Islam, and that's what it is, it's from Iran, Shia Islam, apocalyptic Islam, that believes they have to create a war with the West in order to bring about the al-Mahdi, who is the last ruler to rule. And Iran is completely behind this, and for the administration to say that they're not is absolutely not true. All intelligence shows that. But Israel is going to release in, uh, the unedited video. Everything you've seen on TV is edited. You don't see the bodies. You don't see the babies with their heads cut off. Israel's about to release the unedited video to the journalists because they've always kind of restrained in the media area with pictures. But they're just, they're, they, they just said, you know, we've had it now. We want them to actually see what we've seen and why we're doing what we're doing. And so it's not going to change the journalist's mind because most of the journalists are so to the left 
of, of the uh, issues that we, you and I as Christians would stand for. But this morning, it really hit me. Oh, my goodness, we're seeing a repeat of what we saw in Germany with the anti-Semitism and the attacks on the Jewish people. And uh, I will tell you this, Zacharias says that Jerusalem would be a cup, cup of trembling. All nations would raise up against Jerusalem. So we're beginning to see the spirit, <clears throat> the satanic spirit that the Bible talked about that would rise in the tribulation. We are beginning to see it take place right now, uh, literally occur right now. So anyway, I just, I just want you to, as, as a believer to say to you, we need to begin to pray. And we need to pray what the Bible uh, tells us happened in a, 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 a group that was attacking Israel in ancient history. When Gideon rose up, Gideon took 300 men and God sent confusion in the camp of the Midianites and they actually start slaying one another. And it, they won a great victory supernaturally. We need to pray confusion in the camp of the enemy. We need to pray that the people involved behind this, all of them, thousands of them will be exposed and, and will be dealt with and justice will be done. And we need to pray, as the Bible said, for the peace of Jerusalem, because the Bible said they shall prosper that love thee. This is a time not to talk about praying. This is the time to actually start praying. And I know the next couple of weeks we're going to be doing that. And we, we're, we're going to have a very special event in January with Bill Cloud and I. Most of you know this. <clears throat> and they're getting ready to put up the registration early. And we're doing this because we have to prepare our computers for the number of people that's going to be on and that type of thing. But I'm going to be uh, shifting my message. Bill is doing one on the Gaza Strip and prophecy and what will happen to Gaza at the end of days. You won't hear this on the news, I guarantee you that. And I'm going to be dealing with some things that, and I know people don't understand this. They say, say you need to say it, you need to go on social media and just tell it. You can't do that because you get banned. Uh, you get blocked. The next thing you know, you don't have a social media at all. But we have our own computers, so we can say what we want. We have our own computers in a secure location, underground location, that are backed up computers. Uh, and we have protections on them. So we're able to actually say what we want to say on our systems and not worry about being blocked. And that's why we're doing this in the month of January. So go to perrystone.org and uh, probably about a week or so, you can look up the information about that. And... Uh, we do charge a $20 fee per household because we have to pay a lot of people big money to do this. We have about eight people working on the project, and they work on it not the day that we have. It takes month, months to get all of this together, probably about two months to really get it together and track it and have everything together. And uh, The question and answer session has to be made, and all, the, all the, the camera people and the editors and the engineers coming in. So I think you understand that, uh, that we have to do that. But anyway, I just wanted to come to you and just say, we just need to really be binding the enemy. You, what you bind is bound, what you lose is loose. And pray confusion in the camp of the adversary. And uh, pray that, uh, you know, God's will, I know, in the end is done. But he, the Bible says, pray thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. God's will is established in heaven. We have to pray it through on earth. And that's why it's so important that we, just, we don't just talk about, you know, we need to, we need to pray and then we never pray. And if, and if you don't know how to pray, if you're filled with the Holy Spirit, the Bible says the Spirit of God will make intercession through you when you don't know how to pray, Romans chapter 8. So I did want to, I did want to share this with you, and I just, I just call, call this something that's, something that's frightened me very much. Now, a lot of people don't, don't go on Facebook or have Facebook, and I'm finding that out. So we'll probably transfer this video over to uh, uh, the YouTube channel at some time. And there again, on YouTube, I'm, I'm I have to be, I have to walk an edge sometimes and not use certain words or say certain things. But I think that, uh, I think you've got my point. We cannot allow another Holocaust to happen while the church is here and the church is preaching the gospel, dispensing the grace of God before Christ return. We cannot allow another Holocaust to go on and be silent. We need to be rebuking these people. We need to be challenging these people who are so uh, hateful of a race of people called the Jewish people. And that's where we have to stand up. And God, and by the way, God loves the Palestinian people. He loves the Jewish people. He loves the Arabs. He loves the Muslims. He cares about their soul. He cares about where they're going to spend eternity. So this is not a Jew versus Palestinian thing. This is a, this is a, this is a sensible world, which is, it's not sensible, but sensible people. I would say it that way in the world who are going to stand up against just absolute, complete injustice and never let another Holocaust get by 
uh, which which you can see death to the Jews, death death to the Israel, and just, you know all this kind of stuff. It's it's a Holocaust demon all over again. The Holocaust demon is back, trying to annihilate the people. But in the end, we know God wins. But there's a lot of tribulation coming in the future. You and I know that. Okay, uh, my, my time's about up. If you have a chance, it'll be. October 21 and 22. Some of you will watch this months from now. But we're going to be at the Free Chapel, Gainesville. And we'd love to have you come out and be a part of this, this revival that's broke out. Thank you, and God bless everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, give me your attention for a moment. Did you know the day is coming when we're going to have a cashless system of buying and selling? What has to happen before that takes place? Did you know this? There are five things that must happen first before this can be totally implemented, not only in the United States, but on a global level. I compiled some information. I talked to some multimillionaires. I talked to some bank people. And I want to present to you a two-hour audio CD called The Doom of Cash and the Future Beast Monetary System. I'm going to show you how this cashless form of buying and selling is going to tie into the book of Revelation in Revelation chapter 13. This is very detailed. It's updated. I know there's a lot of this you've not heard. And along with this two-hour audio CD album, I have another two-hour audio CD album called Angelic Warfare and Satanic Assignments During Prophetic Seasons. Now, here's the fact. Angels are released to minister to the church, to individuals, and rule over nations. Like Michael the Archangel is the guardian angel of the nation of Israel. What you may not be aware of is more angels will be released during prophetic seasons and more revelation from God is released during prophetic seasons. And that's where the demonic prince spirits, Ephesians 6 and 12, and also in Daniel 10, step in to interfere with the prophetic revelation and to interfere with the process of a prophecy from coming to pass. I was actually going to write a book on this subject, but it was going to be so long. It would have probably been a 500 page book, but I wanted to get it in a two hour teaching. And I'm telling you, if there's ever been a teaching absolutely power packed and loaded, a lot of Hebraic studies, a lot of study about angels. But let me ask you something. What can we do in prophetic seasons when there is this such heavy demonic battle between angels and demons? Now, this is the reason why the nation are shaking. This is the reason why there's mob rioting in the cities. All of this is connected to prophetic seasons that we're in. So I want to teach you about angelic warfare and satanic assignments. Now you can get both of these for your donation of $30 or more and you request offer FED-144. That's FED-144. And again, $30 or more. But if you order now, I'm going to include a bonus audio CD, End Time Secrets Hidden in the Parables of Jesus. You will love this. So that's five hours of total teaching that we want to present to you as the manifest offer. Help us keep manifest on the air. Order by calling 1-888-21-BREAD, the toll-free number. Or order online at perrystone.org. That's a very fast way of ordering. Or if you want to write a check, make it out to Perrystone Ministries and send it to P.O. Box 3595, Cleveland, Tennessee, 37320. Now, once again, it's $30 for the entire set, and this is a limited-time offer, so order today. If you enjoyed this YouTube content, there's an important website you should know about, perrystone.org. Perrystone.org is an essential resource for the latest books, audiovisual presentations, and digital products from Perrystone Ministries, resources that cover the same kinds of topics discussed in the program you just watched. Stop in and see all that's available at perrystone.org.